Hey, it's Chris here for IFL TV MTK Global, and with me I've got Conrad, Mr. Dynamite Cummings. Uh, Conrad, another great win tonight, uh, taking you to 12 1 and 1. How would you assess your performance tonight, uh, uh, considering uh, it was eight months out of the ring? Eight months out, uh, I thought I was very sharp, but as well, I was relaxed, which uh, sometimes I'm, I'm not. Um, would like to obviously get the stoppage, but that guy was, you could see, a bit heavy me. He's a sort of super bit late heavy. But uh, box well, uh, I think of that that we shared on the black eye with um, pods with uh, Nigel Travis, my assistant coach, <laughs> before. And uh, but yeah, good win and almost up for us. Uh, next year's going to be very exciting. Uh, as well as getting the win, how did it feel fighting the game once on a bill back here in your homeland for the first time in two years? It felt amazing, you know, obviously this, this fight was sort of short notice, uh, but it was noisy, I brought down you know, 100 people, there was only a couple of days notice. Uh, and I really appreciate their support, their continued support. First time boxing home in a while, and just, you know, it's not only bark, it's boxing home, it's amazing. Uh, and next year's going to be very exciting, can't wait, go wrong. Uh, talking about next year, um, your last fight here in Northern Ireland, was a highly talked about draw with Belfast Alfredo Mealy at the Waterfront Hall. Alfredo was also fighting tonight on Danger in the Devonish Bill, who also got a win on points. Uh, would that be a fight you would like to see matched up in 2018, or do you see yourself progressing a wee bit further than that? Uh, possibly, uh, if, if it's right, if he wants it, and I want it, uh, if it makes sense. Uh, fight was two years ago, so I moved on. Uh, with W European title now. Um, world ranked with that organisation. Um, yeah, if it makes sense, if it, if it makes sense obviously. But uh, if he wants it, and the, and the fans want it, uh, let's get it on. But we'll see, we'll see the options. Uh, recently in Dublin, Ireland's last man standing prize fighter style event for middleweights was announced uh, for March in the National Stadium. Would that be a tournament you'd be interested in appearing on? And if not, uh, would it be something you'd be able to fight on the support card with the likes of JJ McDonough? publicly coming out last week and willing to step in the ring to have a fight with yourself? Uh, yes, yes. Um, we just sit down uh, and see what the apps are and see what fight makes the most sense. Uh, if it may be in the crazy or may be in one period somewhere else. Um, let's see what the apps are. We're going to sit down for a couple of weeks. Have for Stephen, we've had a lot of, a lot of training this year. We've made two fights, but not been in the camp sort of all year. Uh, just going to take a couple of weeks now, chill out with my family, my girlfriend, and uh, always the British. You know, next year's going to be Awesome. You talked about uh, a lot of camps there uh, recently, yourself and Carl switched uh, gyms and management companies. Do you believe that the switch has given you a fresh impetus into new training regimes and boxing skills? I think so. Uh, I've probably seen the night I was uh, relaxed, which I uh, very rarely am. <laughs> uh, I can be more and more standing, get up tight and and drums, trying to hard. Uh, but tonight was just so lovely. Box well. Um, I thought I did, you know, 36 rounds of these, probably the same again. Uh, but it was, good, it was good fun, Jim himself and smell in my face, got a great great win, the game was, was, was tough. Uh, I'm glad to be back out, probably shot for me after 8 months out. Uh, speaking of Carl, he was in attendance once again the night. Um, himself and Christine went out to Kenya on a charity mission for Troker. Uh, is that something that you'd love to be involved in with MTK as a team of fighters next year? Absolutely. Uh, if, you know, Signing the MTK, uh, great team, but just what they're doing in general for other fighters, you know, uh, giving amazing opportunities. Uh, and Claude, obviously, a good friend of mine, you know, he's, you know, he's does so much for me, he's such a happy guy. At Kennedy, he came from State from Kenya, he spoke me a night, you know, in my honour, but I've just said, as he comes to sit and he said, he's brought me. And it's just really, Tuesday team is going to be a good year, almost the first for Uh Although it hasn't been an active year in the ring, I'm sure you're looking to some well-earned time off over Christmas period, especially you said you had a lot of camps on and different training programs that you put through with uh, your new uh, team. Um, what have you got in store for the Christmas period? Uh, it's going to sit out with my family. I've actually recently just bought a new house, so, uh, so me and my girlfriend have been in a couple of weeks. I've uh, got some bed in my heart, chill out, move in my home, relax my family. And then back in the gym, keep yourself fit and move on this year. And I'd like to give a shout out to any of your sponsors tonight. Sponsors, and fans. Is good. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm going to shout out to my sponsors. NS Galvin, uh, Southern LED, and uh, Middle Circuit Construction in Philadelphia. Without these guys, you know, these guys are keeping me going. I've only fought twice a year. And thank you so much for taking this. Alright, thank you, Conrad, for talking to us on AFL TV. Thank you very much.